All right, look at this map. This shows us uh, uh, everything that's left with this game, basically. But hello, everyone. Welcome back to Resident Evil 4. In the last episode, we went through a nice little tractor trailer ride, only just to have Ashley kidnapped again for like the what? How many times has this been? Is this the third or the fourth time? <laughs> Point is, she likes being the damsel in distress. So we're going to have to go after her again. Um. Anyways. I hear a zappy zap here, and I noticed this with this particular part of the game is that you hear the zappy zaps very often uh, outside of the rooms that they're supposed to be in. I don't remember this being the case like way back. Um, uh, I would have swore there was a thing here above the altar, but I think I'm wrong. But that's no that's no issues. We're gonna grab this. Our plan. Because of that agent, we lost Chief Mendez and Ramon. Nether nevertheless, everything will proceed according to the plan. I must, however, the loss of my loyal men is a bit disheartening, but I will deal with it. Replacing that loss will not come easy. I will choose wisely, for the plaga reflects the conscience of their hosts. If chosen poorly, they could betray me. I need men who will swear their allegiance to me. I learned my lesson when Sarah betrayed me. I will not make that same mistake again. In this important hour, I can not and will not have anyone stand in my way so here's the question of the day did does that mean lewis had a plagas in him being the researcher for the group they never really elaborated too much on that i mean one would assume that slow fade what's the news on our friend leon he's not making it easy the sample sadler's got it it seems he sniffed out our little game. Perfect. Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Probably did. She probably did, because she's always been a mysterious fucking character. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so where are we now? Somewhere dark, as usual. I still hear the zappy zap. Gotta be that guy. I wish I could Batman through that uh, window. That would be great, actually. Like the whole grapple hook thing in the Arkham games. Oh, maybe it was you. Doesn't matter, you're gonna be getting a... Boot to the face. Hey, hey, where are you at? Where are you at? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to knife you. Why aren't you dead already? This is weird. He's supposed to be dead. It doesn't matter. Okay, for heaven's sake, why won't you die? You guys spent like a whole minute on killing just one guy. One insignificant loser. Come on. The final boss of the game. One random freaking shock dude. Oh my god, where did you come from? What I get for trying to cut corners. Just make your head explode and stay exploded, please. There's still more of them, too. Gimme. All right. <laughs> Keep checking around all these corners thinking that I'm going to find like loot and stuff, but I don't think this area is well known for it per se. Oh. Ow. It's like it looked like he just spawned right there. Oh my god, I've got a bunch of fucking grenades in my inventory that I need to just blow. Do, 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 do. Just go away. Oh, that actually called our attention. Whoa! Okay, this has turned into a very awkward set of proxy fights. Okay. You first. Oh my god, come on. Enough of the freaking head exploding thing. 
swear to God, if one more in this set room, in this set of rooms, has their head explode into a Plagas. I thought he was gonna do it for a second too. What? You didn't die? Okay, you. That should have. Uh. Oh my god. This whole entire game, I've been playing really well, but these group of enemies, for some reason, are being retarded. Well, I don't mean to say retarded. Well, yeah, no, I'll be fine with that. Alright. No. That's enough. When I get out my big stick, you know, you're fucked. Alright. So, I did that for handgun ammo. That feels worth it, doesn't it? Feel something right here. That makes it feel worth it. <sighs> Alright. Anyways. Anywho. If I can select the right screen, there's no treasure here. There's a door right there. Is there another door? There was another door right here. Uh, leads to a side room. There's probably stuff in there. I'm hoping to find a red herb because I need more full health items. I know I've got my couple eggs. And eggs are always helpful, but a red herb would be pan freaking tastic. Uh, but I'm not going to get it. Actually, I'm hoping for yellow herbs too for the next time we meet Ashley and we can start working her up in like three herbs. She's got it super easy. Alright. Everything's always so dark and menacing around this place. You know, the, us the usuals. Alright. Get my controller ready for this. Because if you haven't played this game before, some shit's about to go down. Alright. You gotta excuse me if I stay silent throughout this part because, uh. Goody goody gumdrops. Cut me. Krauser. He's more surprised about Krauser than ago. Ada. Is that what they told you? You're the one who kidnapped Ashley. You got John Quick, as expected. After all, you and I both know where we come from. <laughs> oh, god damn. Some knife want? battles. Looks like I got the same knife, too. Whoa! The sample Sadler developed, that's all. Can you switch it between the... <laughs> Oh, left, right trigger in the XL and the uh, X and A, and um, I shouldn't look at the camera. I shouldn't look at you guys while uh, I'm trying to have a knife battle with a ex-military man. Nope, you don't get to slut my throat again. Goddamn. Oh, I needed her to buy Sadler's trust in me, like you. I'm American. Woo! You got her involved just for that? Duh. Seems so proud of himself. Come on. <sighs> All for Umbrella's sake. Umbrella? Almost let it slip. You did let Stop it slip. Talk. Die, comrade. <laughs> God. Ada. Well, if it isn't the bitch in the red dress. Rude. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> You may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? Well, no one can, technically. That's just kind of the meaning of life there. You knew each other? 
More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here. Nah. Maybe some other time. She's in it for the same reason as uh Krauser. Enjoy the reunion with your old friend. No. As a matter of fact, I did. Don't lie. Wonderful. Oh, he did like the knife fight a little bit. He seems so proud of himself. On the island feeling unattended. Guess I'm supposed to thank you, right? <laughs> ah, I have an idea. Since you're here, why don't I introduce you to it? I don't like that movie. Should keep you busy. Can't remember the name, huh? A senior moment, perhaps. Oh, oh. <laughs> Enjoy the fun. All right. Well, here's the thing about that set of knife fights. Uh, as seen on camera, uh, those set of quick time events, they switch between the triggers and they. Oh, there was money here, but they despawned it for some reason. That set of uh, quick time events used to kill me all the goddamn time. All the damn time. Uh, but this was before like quick time events were like hated on because they weren't overused at that point. So I kind of wonder how the gaming community would feel about it nowadays, considering uh, this was kind of like the first for what foray foray. I think that's a word I'm trying to use. It's kind of like the first attempt at quick time events and it was awesome and everything felt cinematic. It felt like you actually were doing things uh, cinematically. So now we're going to be playing Mission Impossible real quick. It's kind of the name of the game. God damn. I'm so conditioned by jump scares nowadays. It's like I just like get paranoid when things happen. All right. Woo! God, I love lasers. All right. Check, please. Switch on the right. Oh, that would help. Just run into it and... Leon is a fancy bitch. He is a very fancy bitch with very fancy moves. All right. I always get the one room and the other room mixed up. This was the room I was thinking that had the treasure on the top here. So let me just grab that real quick. Should be an elegant headdress, judging by the shape of it. Yup. And uh, nothing else in this room but a throne. So, yoink. Emerald. Oh, yoink. Yeah, that's actually going to be a good thumbnail. Let me just click my face off of it. Will be thumbnails for days, yo. Well, one thumbnail, technically. Oh, you can sit in it again? I remember it used to be just like a one-time trigger. I don't know why they happened to do that again. I'm not gonna complain because that throwing is baller as shit, yo, but. Uh, where are we at anyway? More dank caves. Uh, that looks like a weird puddle. Looks like oil. Oh, water ripples. All right, anyways, there should be a merchant around the corner if I remember correctly, but who knows? I've been wrong before. I've been wrong several times. Oh, there he is. There's my merchant merch. Take. Lewis Memo 4. I, I'll report my findings about the Plagas here. The Plagas have three distinct characteristics. One, as mentioned previously, the Plagas have the ability to manipulate their behavioral patterns of their hosts. Two, the Plagas are social organisms. By this, I mean that instead of living individually, they live in a perfect social harmony. It is believed they have collective intelligence. This type of behavior can be seen amongst, among instincts such as bees and ants. However, this kind of social behavior is rarely seen among parasitic organisms. Perhaps it is learned. it was a learned behavior by the Plagas. I'm finding out if this has any relationship with their first characteristic. The Plagas have exceptional adaptation skills. They are able to live off of many kinds of organisms by creating a symbiotic environment quickly. 
Well, this ability, when combined with their social behaviors, allows them to interact intelligently between hosts, regardless of the host's organism. I am ashamed to admit that my pure fascination with the Plagas, in hindsight, has blinded me to the true research objectives of the Los Illuminados. Even with the knowledge that Sadler was going to abuse the results of these experiments, I could not pull myself away from my research. As a result, I am just as responsible for this whole mess as he is. I see now that I was wrong, but perhaps I can stop their evil plans alone. Question mark? So, okay, so he was just doing research on it. Uh, so I'm um, evidently, I guess he wasn't under control. Uh, Sadler must have just kind of interested him in the whole resource research portion of it and just kind of he must have made him some kind of good promise about research like funding it or something I can't really imagine Lewis is about power at all he's Welcome. more about just kind of that whole intellect tragic scientist Got kind of thing yay broken butterfly bye Thank you. and we can't buy anything else for it so we don't get the exclusive but we do get a 28 firepower, uh, which is very helpful. Uh, technically, at the moment, if I got the Killer 7 instead, it would have been a little bit stronger. But I th at the moment, but I think the Broken Butterflies a wee bit stronger than that. Um, all right, as I was saying, the Killer 7 has a maximum power of 35 when you upgrade it fully. The Broken Butterfly is significantly more than that. The only thing I'm sad about with the Killer 7 is the fact that they uh, didn't decide to use the last upgrade as a uh, just kind of make it like 77 attack power because it would have been really cool if the sevens uh they could have like mitigated that by making it only like a seven shotgun instead of like what like a 12 or a 13 or something like that but we can't really complain too much about it i know why they didn't give you the 50 right off the bat it's because of this part that's coming up they don't want to uh make you too powerful but i think we're gonna end things off here because uh this part's gonna be a doozy anyways uh like my video comment on what you like below uh comment on what you feel about saddler and krauser and ada oh my uh share it with your friends bring them along let them ride this train we'll make them watch it from the beginning and if you're brand new here hit that subscribe button and then we can play games together and it'll be great so until then as always, this is Ryukuroku. Thumbs up. I'll catch you guys absolutely later.